will not be able to travel, to take the metro, the bus, even to go to the cafe, to the restaurant, to lose your job. Every citizen have the right to make his own choice. This is why it is uh, a demonstration in all France since a few weeks and the, the fight uh, will continue uh, until the, the new election in France because France, who is the symbol of revolution and democracy, is not more any uh, democracy when uh, the citizen have not the choice to be vaccinated or not. This is unacceptable. Millions of people are turning out to protest across France, including hundreds of thousands right here in Paris. There are three separate demonstrations taking place in this city today. This is the largest one. This fifth protest in a row comes after President Emmanuel Macron's new COVID measures. You are not vaccinated, you will not be able to travel, to take the metro, the bus, even to go to the cafe, to the restaurant, to lose your job. In all of Europe, no country is pushing back as hard as the people in France. I'm Ben Swan in Paris. This is Truth in Media. Hey guys, welcome to the show. So an incredible turnout here in Paris. As you can see, once again, there are hundreds of thousands of protesters in the streets pushing back against these mandatory COVID measures. It is happening here unlike in any other place in the world, certainly more so than the United States, where no one seems to be pushing back. Here in France, they're doing just that. And it wasn't just here in Paris, but all across the country of France. Huge protests in Nice, France, in the southern part of the country. Three different protests right here in Paris. This is the largest one. People walking for miles, making their voices heard, and demanding an end to these new health pass restrictions. Even you are going to lose your job. Every citizen have the right to make his own choice. This is why it is uh, a demonstration in all France since a few weeks, and the, the fight uh, will continue uh, until the, the new election in France, because France, who is the symbol of revolution and democracy, is not more any uh, democracy when uh, the citizen have not the choice to be vaccinated or not. This is unacceptable. You can't go into a restaurant, you can't even eat outdoors, you can't go into a museum, and you can't go to school or even work in many cases unless you have either a COVID vaccination or a 48-hour PCR test showing you are negative for COVID or that you have antibodies in your system but not more than six months old. So that is the, the main driver of these protests. People saying they want their freedom. Say liberté is, the, is what they're calling for here in France. And they have been calling for it week after week after week. The people have turned out and come to the streets demanding a change and demanding that the president of this country listen to them. Now listen, if you watch most media, they're going to tell you that uh, the majority of people in polling are for these COVID vaccinations because so many signed up for them when they first became mandatory. But is that really true? And I'll tell you why we ask that question. So many people are turning out in the streets and every single week more people are showing up here in France to protest than the week prior. But I've talked to several people who have been vaccinated here and what they have told me is that they did so because their job required it. They actually didn't want to be vaccinated, but they had to do it in order to keep their employment. And that was very disconcerting to them. They said, I wouldn't have taken it had it not been for the government forcing me to do so. Essentially unable to keep my job if I didn't. But Macron is defending these restrictions this week, saying this. He calls them democratic, saying, quote, never before in our history was a crisis of such magnitude fought in such a democratic way. The democratic way of cutting off access to people's jobs, to outdoor dining, to going to museums, to even being able to go to work and in some cases travel if they do not have a COVID vaccination. Nobody seems to be buying that. It's why so many people have turned out into the streets here. The problem is uh, Macron is not a even able to walk in the street today. Uh, for sure, France uh, is liberté, égalité, fraternité, uh, but that was only on the paper. And we have no more this value in France. It was the past after the goal. Uh, this France going down and down. So many people seem to be quiet about it in the U.S., but they're not quiet here in Paris. They're not quiet in France. They are standing up in a way that other countries are not and the way that the United States has not so far. And guys, I think that is our most important lesson, having gone out across Europe and seen so much of what's going on around the world, that here in France, the people here are willing to stand up in ways that we have not been willing to stand up in the U.S. And the question that I think we leave here with is why? Why is that? What can we learn from the French? 
French, what can we take from the people here who believe in seizing back their liberty, not handing it over, not releasing it, but holding on to that liberty? What can we do to change that and to move forward in that way? Guys, thanks for watching. Hey, if you're not seeing our reports from across Europe, please send me a text at the number on your screen, and I will send our reports to you every time that they come out. From France, I'll see you back home.